What's up, YouTube? This is Daniel here with Casing Outdoors. Um, man, look, I'm sitting here shooting this video, and uh, there's turkeys crossing the parking lot here at Sutton Lake, right there. That's pretty awesome. There to go. Look at them running across. Man, just shows you. You never know what God's gonna let you see that day. All right, so. Here at Sutton Lake, uh, here in Wilmington, North Carolina, and um, loading up, just got done fishing, tough day fishing. Um, I don't know if you could tell uh, from the video, but it's kind of windy. Pretty rough being out here in a kayak. But uh, did catch one, didn't have any film, because as you can see right here, I didn't bring my GoPro with me. So. But I figured I would show you the big rig I bought this year. Now, this is a new to me big rig. It is a 2014. Um, so it's seven years old. It's in excellent shape. Uh, but I'll go over it. It's uh, 13 and a half foot long, 37 inches wide. Uh, this is a big kayak. Um, I think it's 550 pounds max weight. This uh, big front hatch here, I do keep a dry bag in here in my battery box. Um, and if I'm going on a long trip and I got everything trailered up and I got clothes in the back of the truck, I throw those rods in there. And uh, I've had 10 rods in the hole of this thing with nets and everything else. All right, going on back. Uh, it has a stand up assist bar, didn't miss that. I did use that a couple times today. Um, it's pretty awesome to have a uh, assist bar on this thing. Um, get you up easy, let you look around. Right here, I got a Garmin Striker SV9 on here. Uh, I got a, a new paddle this year. Uh, I actually got it last year, late last year. It's an Oracle Angler. It is a carbon fiber handle, fiberglass reinforced. As you can see right here on the end, it's reinforced there. So that way uh, you can push off. You got a D hooker right here, have an anchor wizard. And then the good thing about the big rig is on these anchor wizards, they actually run back and they go through the hole of the kayak and come out and these things are designed for an anchor right there and that is just a little three pound anchor holds me just fine all right you see right there how i got my water bottle stored to strap down this box here i normally keep back here um you do have a backrest right there this box they're just perfect sit right in there and as you can see i got a good size plano box my extra storage safety kit stuff like that is all in there uh, rod holders those torpedo holders I have seven foot rods in there right here goes one with a Carolina rig one over there with a swim bait you got plenty of room back here for a crate as you can see you got more storage here and the storage back here I keep my spare paddle um, and my light uh, rear light that I mount over there uh, coming around same thing on this side. You got big handles back here on the back of this thing. Because this thing is heavy. It's about 120 pounds probably. I, it's it's insane. And going up the other side, as you can see, I have a, a little Zepco rod I normally carry with me. I got all these expensive rods I normally carry. Just a cheap old Zepco just to have fun with, catch brim, stuff like that. Um, that's it. You got any questions, let me know, and uh, I'll see if I can't answer them for you.